probably heard of the Matrix. Neo played by Keanu Reeves. Dodging bullets was an iconic scene that's impossible to forget. But in mathematics, a matrix is just a rectangular arrangement of rows and columns. You'll see how in just a bit. First, let's take some random numbers like 3, 0, negative 8 and 5. Now, place these numbers horizontally and draw brackets around them. You just have made yourself first matrix. But wouldn't it be tiresome to keep referring to it as this matrix or that matrix? Of course. So, to avoid any confusion, we'll give it a name. You can be inspired by Neo and want to keep the same label. Or you could try naming it after your friends Sarah or Ali. But that's pretty unusual, right? Instead, we are going to keep our tradition and call it by a capital letter, like A. Now, with every matrix, there comes two things, the number of rows and the numbers of column it has. Where rows are horizontal lines of entries in a table, as we all know. Since there is just one horizontal line, there is only one row in this matrix. Hmm, so what about columns? Well, columns are vertical lines of entries in a table. In our case, a has four columns. But that's not all. The critical thing you must know about every matrix is its order. Since matrix A has one row and four columns, its order will be one by four. Hence, the order is nothing but a representation of rows and columns in a matrix, where the number of rows is written first, followed by the number of columns. And that makes one by four and 4 by 1, two very different things. Let's check out another example to get a better grip on all these concepts. This time, let's shake things up a bit and arrange four more random numbers vertically. Enclose it in brackets and label it with a capital letter, like B. Now tell me, how many rows can you see? Good eye! Since there are four horizontal lines of entries, there are four rows. And since there is only one vertical line, there is only one column. From top to bottom, we can label these rows as R1, R2, R3 and R4. Whereas this column can be labeled as C1. The order? You guessed it. It is 4 by 1 this time. Since we have four rows and one column in matrix B. Let's look at four new numbers of your choice and make a matrix by arranging them in such a way that the first two are in the first row and the final two are in the second row, immediately below them. Like so. Let me go ahead and put brackets around them real quick. Let's call this matrix C, shall we? Now, we'll go ahead and label the rows as R1 and R2 and columns as C1 and C2. Don't forget, the rows are named from top to bottom, while the columns are numbered from left to right. And of course, the order of matrix C is 2 by 2, where the first two represents the rows and the second two represents the columns. And that's it. So, what's a matrix in a mathematical world again? A rectangular arrangement of rows and columns enclosed by brackets. And these rows and columns, in general, contain certain elements. On top of that, these elements or entries can be numbers, letters or characters, or virtually anything to which mathematical operations such as addition or multiplication can be applied. With this, we conclude our introductory lesson on matrices. Matrices? The plural of a matrix. As always, see you all in the next lesson.